All right, guys. Um, making this video. Sorry, it's a cell phone video, but still on the GoPro with me right now. Um, found a solution for the chain tensioner rattle on the front timing chain assembly on the 4.0 um, single overhead cam forwards. <laughs> Pretty common issue. Um, it's caused by sludge buildup underneath. There's a restrictor tube and a little 1/8 MPT port back here. And that gets clogged up because it's stagnant oil. It just, if you don't do your oil changes prop or in time, it just cooks up. And just like the 4.6 Fords, they're horrible for sludge anyway. Um, found a solution to fix that without having to pull the head off and everything else. So this one was making the noise. Ended up doing all the cassettes, time and chains, everything on the front. Pulled the valve cover on the passenger side. Checked the cassette. Cassettes was in one piece. Um, decided screw pulling the motor to do that. I just left it as is for now um, Have them later if we need to use them, but after all said and done I was still getting the damn um, chain tensioner rattle even with the new tensioner and everything so I ended up finding out there's an oil restrictor port and that is Right here where I have this 4 in line feeding in I'll explain why that's there in a second but there's typically a little Torx plug you pull the plug out and there's a plastic tube that runs down and sludge builds up behind that tube and you don't get oil pressure there. Well, when this initially started happening, after doing the timing chains, I pulled the plug out, got the tube out, put my oil pressure gauge in there, and uh, wasn't getting any oil pressure. Um, with the valve cover off, I took compressed air, blew back through, got oil squirting out from all around the lifters, all around the, uh, the cam journals and everything. And put the gauge back in. I had oil pressure in the chain tensioner shut up and sounded pretty damn nice. Um, after about three, four weeks, problem started coming back. I was like, well, that sludge is in there. I figured it was, I pushed it out, freed it up for now, but it ended up finding its way back up into the galley that feeds this um, time and chain tensioner right here. And same old symptoms. So I sat here and tried to flush it out with. Um, stoddard and really got nowhere with that still was having I could get flow out of it but I wasn't getting more than like one or two psi out of it so I gave up on that idea and came up with this while I was work at work overnight um, so all I did was down here if you can see it I have a brass quarter MPT T I took the oil pressure sending unit out of the side of the block um, put the pressure sending unit on the bottom of the T, put a 4 AN to 1 8 MPT 90 with a quarter um, MPT male to 1 8 MPT female with that 4 AN coming off of it. You know, put this 4 AN line together out of some um, scrap lines I had from doing my turbo Volkswagen. Ran it up to here, used another 1 8 MPT um, to 4 AN adapter here with a 90 and another hose end. And now I have oil pressure to that galley. I left the restrictor in there, so the restrictor, I'm not feeding the rest of the head. It's just solely the tensioner. Because the rest of the head is getting pressure anyway. I was, with the um, valve cover off, I ran it a couple times. And, uh, you know, you can see oil coming out from the journals and the lifters and everything, and it sounds good over there. So the only thing, because it's stagnant oil here, feeding um, underneath this restrictor tube... It just sludges up there and gives you issues. So this was a <clears throat> you know cheat for me because I only had I only had to buy the T. I had all the other fittings laying around, the hose, all that stuff. Um obviously this might cost you like thirty dollars if you buy all this stuff new. But um yeah, I mean instead of having the rattle on cold starts that you typically get because it takes a second to get pressure there. Now as soon as you start it, it's nice and quiet off of the bat. Sitting there idling, good oil pressure, and obviously as the oil gets warm and thins out, that pressure will drop a little bit, but let it get warm and everything and chain tensioner rattle's gone. So, if you got the time, it's a lot easier than pulling the head. A little bit of the pain in the ass to get the uh, T-fitting in there, but it works. All right, then.
Hope that helps with uh, anybody having this issue. And might as well give this a try rather than pulling the whole head off as long as you got oil to all your other, you know, Valtrain parts in the top end, being your cam journals, your squirter line over top of all the journals, and your lifters aren't making any noise, and you got pressure there across the board. So, all right then. Hope that helps. I think I found a solution for this that's fairly easy. Thank you.